Okay, so finally we're all set and ready to create our first machining operation for exercise number six. So what we're going to do here is actually we're going to combine four operations in one video. These are all very easy operations that you've learned in previous exercises. So I will be going over them a little bit fast. So first we're going to be facing our part. Then I will be roughing my part. All right. And then I'm going to be coming in and finishing my part. But then there's going to be some area and I'll show you why in a minute that does not get machined. I'm going to have to come in with a groove operation and rough and finish it there. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is to come over here under the turning tab and select face. I'm going to call this exercise six. All right. So I'm going to select the OD rough right and I will call it facing operation. Under the facing parameters, I'm going to keep everything the same. I'm going to change the overcut amount over here to 0 0.01 and retract amount to 0 0.0 to 0 0.1, leaving it there and select OK. And there is the facing of your part. Next, I'm going to come over here under rough and then select chain or we're going to select partial chain. We'll select this chain right here and this chain right here. If you select chain, it will actually chain your entire geometry. Go ahead and select OK. For this one, what I'm going to do is come over here and use the OD 55 degrees right. And there's a reason why I chose this tool. So we're going to call this roughing OD and go to the roughing parameters. Over here, we're going to keep everything the same. The stock to leave in X is 0 0.01 and Z is 0 0.01 as well. We're going to change the stock recognition to use stock for outer boundaries and select the lead in and lead out. For the lead in, I always like to make sure that it's coming into my part this direction, basically coming this way to start some machining and leaving my part in that opposite direction. So while it's leaving my part, I want to make sure to extend this by a quarter of an inch. This means while when it's leading, basically towards the end of my machining, it is extending by a quarter of an inch. So go ahead and select OK and select OK. Now you're going to notice that your tool comes in and starts machining and it stops right there. But I kind of want it to machine at least some of the material over here. To do that, come over here back to parameters and then select plunge parameters. I want you to select right here under the third option and then make sure back clearance is selected and changes to one degree. Now you might have to play out with your part to see which degree is best suits you most. One degree is good enough for it to machine at least half those material for me. Go ahead and select OK and OK again and regenerate that operation. And you will notice that now your tool comes in and digs in. Basically your tool rotates one degree and now is able to machine uh, at least half of that stock for you. And you can see my extension over here by that quarter of an inch in the lead out. All right. So now that you're done with that, let's go ahead and create the finishing operation. So I'm going to go ahead and select finish and then select either the same toolpath or just select last over here and that will select the last chain you've selected. Select OK. For the finish, you can actually use the same OD 55 degrees or you can come down and use even a finer tool and we're going to call this finish OD. For the finish parameters, we want to make sure it's leaving zero in X and zero in Z and go ahead and select OK. And there you go. Now you'll notice something over here that it finished here and the walls. But if you zoom in here, it did not finish the bottom. So you want to be careful to not miss this. All right. So because we could not reach this area with our roughing operation, I need to create a plunge operation. Now, a lot of you might think, well, why can't I come in with a left hand tool and machine this? Well, I'll show you why. I'm going to go ahead and go to roughing again and select here and here. But this time I'm going to reverse the chain. So select the reverse operation here to reverse it and select OK. I'm going to go ahead and select right here the OD uh, 55 degrees left. All right. And I'm not going to call it anything because I'm going to have to delete it. For the roughing parameters, I'm going to go ahead and leave everything the same. And I'll even change the plunge to one degree, but this time from the left side. All right. Go ahead and select OK and OK. And right away, you see your tool come in and dig in your part because be, for the tool to be able to come down and start machining this entire area, it needs to start all the way on the left side like that. It can't possibly come in here without even the holder hitting some of your stock. 
So that's why I can't use that. I'm going to say no to saving that operation. All right. So now I'm going to create the plunge toolpath. So expand the general and come over here under groove and select chain and select OK. So we're going to use the chain instead of the roughing to create that operation. So I'm going to select this wall and this base and select OK. And I'm going to use the OD groove center medium. And I'm going to call this groove operation. For the groove shape parameters, we're going to use stock for outer boundary. And groove rough parameters, we can leave everything the same. Make sure it is 75% of the tool for the rough step and 20% for the back off. 20 to 25% is good. Make sure groove finish is selected so we can have one finish pass and finishes everything to zero. If you do not have this checked, this part will not be machined. So make sure to have that correct. For the lead in and lead out, I always like to make sure that both lead in are straight down. Remember, this is lead in, I'm sorry, not lead in and lead out. Sometimes it does get confusing because they are placed around the same section, but lead in, lead in is basically lead in is for the first roughing operation and the lead in for the finishing operation. So both of them are going straight down. All right, go ahead and select OK. OK again and allow your toolpath to complete. And there you go. Zoom into this area to make sure that your part is actually machined all the way and it is. All right, so that concludes the roughing of the OD and finishing of the OD along with the groove operation. And we've also faced our part. So from now on, we will get to our more complex C-axis machining.